3 ways how to set up your TP-Link RE330 Wi-Fi extender. Quick checkup before you start. Make sure that your router is connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi and your extender is plugged into the power socket and the power indicator is glowing solid white. Now let's get started. Uh, the first and the fastest method is to connect via WPS. So uh, locate the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the back panel and it's labeled so you will easily find it. And press this button on the router. And then press the WPS button on the extender. This is the button with padlock icon. You have to do it within two minutes after pressing the button on the rotor. And now look at the indicators on the extender. All four indicators should glow solid white. Or if you have the single band rotor, you will see only 2.4G uh, network indicator. But I have two bands rotor, so I will have four in a row. Just be patient. Something is going on under the hood. Yes, we have Wi-Fi signal now. 5G was first in some reason, 2.4G. Yes, now we are all set. You can check this by taking any of your gadgets, going to Wi-Fi settings. And now let's see. Now we see two new networks named same as your ro main rotor but with EXT abbreviation added to the end. EXT stands for extender, so this is our extender networks 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. I can connect to any. Yes, connected and that's it. Now you can relocate the extender somewhere in Wi-Fi dead zone, but make sure that you're rel relocating it uh, within the rotor range. Because if you see the red Wi-Fi indicator, it means the signal is too weak and you need to move the extender uh, closer to your rotor, somewhere in different outlet. The next method is to connect via your web browser. It's a bit more complicated, but also gives you much more control over your extender and Wi-Fi network. Uh, so, to connect via web browser, start by opening your Wi-Fi menu, Wi-Fi network list, and here you need to connect to this network, which is named TP-Link Extender. And wait for a while, connect it. Uh, now go to your browser and in the address bar type the following IP address 192.168.0.254 and then press enter. It takes you to the control panel of the extender. Here you need to create the device password. So uh, enter from 6 to 32 characters using combination of letters, numbers and symbols. So you can't go too simple here. Let it be like this. So now you need to log in using your just created password. And now you need to select which network do you wish to extend. My router's name is My Wi Fi, so I'm selecting this network. Here I must enter my Wi Fi password. Of course, you must enter yours. And then let's select 5 GHz network. It's named my Wi Fi as well, but with 5 GHz at the end. I have the same password for this network. You may have different password. 
Now check the passwords, because if, if the passwords are incorrect, the connection will be failed. Uh, now confirm. On this step, you can rename your extender. Uh, by default, it has the same name as your main rotor, but with the EXT abbreviation at the end, EXT stands for extender. Uh, let me stick with defaults so far. Okay, now, as I told before, you can relocate the extender to Wi-Fi dead zone, but make sure that it's still in the rotor's range. And then here, click on done. And now connect to your new network. Remember, it's named same as your rotor, but with EXT. So let's connect to five gigahertz band. It's faster, connected, secured, and now let's, let's check the connection speed. Use something like speedtest.net, just click on go. Good speed, good for home office or movies, YouTube and so forth. Good speed, but let's compare it. Let's compare it with the main network. This is my main Wi-Fi network. Let's connect. Refresh the page. Once again, press on go. Yeah, main, of course, main network is much more faster, but the extender speed is still good uh, for normal internet usage. If you wish uh, to have faster internet in your extender, I think you need to use another model, more expensive and more powerful, or try to connect your ext extender via uh, the Ethernet cable and use it as an access point. You can manage it in your settings, so you need the Ethernet cable, uh, you need direct connection to your router or to a LAN socket in the wall if you have a free one, and probably you will get a uh, higher speed. And the last for today, I'll show you the setting up via the smartphone, which is my favorite because it's super simple and everything you need for it, you have in your pocket. Uh, so, to connect with the smartphone, you need TP-Link Tether application, so go to the App Store or Google Play, get this application, open the application. By the way, make sure that your extender is plugged in. Here you have to log in, or if you don't have the TP-Link account, uh, you will be asked to create one, it's, it's simple, you will just enter your email and create new password and then confirm email by clicking the link in the letter. But I already have the account, so let me just log in. Log in. After this, after login, you can add new device, but no devices found. This is because we are not connected to the extenders network. We need to do it. Same as we just have done on PC, we need to go to Y settings and go to TP-Link extender at work. Once connected, let's go back to the application. It automatically refreshes this page and it's searching for new devices. If you don't see your device here, you can tap on the plus button, tap on add a range extender, make sure that the LED light is solid on, confirm it's searching. If you still haven't succeeded, try try disabling the mobile data and NFC in your device's setting. Now set device password. Uh, this is the password to access to your device. So you will be able to log in to your extender from 
the application from another smartphone or even from the browser using this password. So write it down somewhere to not forget. Now let's tap on next. Now we need to select the network we wish to extend. This is my network, it's named my Wi-Fi. Now I need to enter my network Wi-Fi password. This is my current password, not new, we are not creating now. And let's extend 5 GHz network. If you have the single band router, the system will skip this step. Let's tap on next. Check if everything is correct and tap on next. Uh, same like before, like in browser version, you can rename your extender, but let me stick with default names. Just wait for a while until system applies your settings. And regardless of the method of your connection, you have to see four glowing LED indicators or three if you have single band router you will have 2.4G network only that's it and now you can relocate the extender once again consider the router's Wi-Fi range and check for the Wi-Fi signal on this indicator if it's white the signal is okay if it's red you need to move the extender closer uh, when you're okay with the extender's location, tap on next and now you can connect to your Wi-Fi. So uh, let's copy password. Let's go to the Wi-Fi settings. Let's find our extended network. 2.4G is here, but I'm interested in 5G. If you don't see your extended network in the list try to restart the Wi-Fi as I'm connected automatically connected to 5, 5 gigahertz band it's okay now let's go back to the application login in and that's it now same as in browser version, you have full control over your extender here. And most exciting settings to me are the operation mode. Uh, like I told you before, you can use the extender as an access point, connecting it uh, with your router directly using the Ethernet cable. So you can put it in the access point mode from here. And also you can put it in, into one mesh mode. So you, you will have seamless uh, network through your house and you, you, you will not have to enter uh, the network name and password each time you change the room. So just, but your router have to support one mesh technology uh, so, so that you will be able to, uh, to enable this feature. So uh, guys, for now you're all set, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, have a nice day, thanks for watching.